Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for the 18th through the 24th of June. This is for the sign of Libra. That one just came out flying off the top. I'm going to have to take it. Uh, it flew right off. I mean, I have to take things like that, right? So there's a lack of wish fulfillment here, Libra, for some reason. There's a lack of hope. You may have lost hope, okay? That's, that's too bad, okay? Um, you may be feeling discouraged at this time for some reason. Yeah, it's like things aren't progressing the way you'd hope. Something didn't turn, turn out to be successful, and it's caused some discouragement. Um, but you do have a new opportunity, okay? Some, some things don't happen for a reason, okay? So I understand that you may be feeling a loss of hope. You may be feeling discouraged. You may feel like you've lost your will to go on. You may feel like you've lost your direction. But you do have a new opportunity that is coming. It's something that you're manifesting. It's a new security, okay? There's a reason something didn't work out. This is what I see. I see that you are being offered a new beginning, a new security. And that's why, you know, it's God's protection when things don't work out. And I feel like you you have been protected by something, but I feel like you may not see it. You may not see, that, see it as that. But this is God's protection here. You know, they wanted you to release an obsession. You had to. You had to. And I feel as though, you know, you you, you probably held on to something for, for way too long. And, and maybe you still are. I don't know. But it looks like some of you are, 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 maybe you're thinking about finally letting it go. Or you are letting it go. But there's definitely been a loss of direction here that was, it was, you know, I'm reluctant to say this, but I'm going to. It was a blessing in disguise. Whatever it is that you're discouraged about was a it was a gift. It was a gift because you have something more secure and stable than you had before. Coming in. It's coming in, okay? But you don't see it. You you see this as a lost opportunity. You know, you're feeling very sad and confused over this, you know, thing that didn't work out. All right. But it wasn't well suited for you. You have a better you have something that's suited much better. You do. And it feels like right now you you Yeah, I think you're feeling like you've reached a, you've reached a dead end. Okay, you've reached a dead end in that there's nothing to be nothing to be excited for, you know. But the fact of the matter is, whatever this situation was that didn't move forward, that didn't progress, it wasn't well suited for you. It really, really, really wasn't. I feel like whoever this person was, and I think, and my readings are generally love readings. Whoever this person was that you were dealing with. Um, they weren't meant to stay in your life forever, and I. This is a, this is like a channeled message. I don't even know where this is coming from, um, and this happens to me a lot. I feel as though this person they didn't they didn't bring you up. They brought you down, but you were so connect, You were so obsessed with them that you couldn't see that they were bringing you down. And I know that's that's um, hard to hear, but I feel like this person didn't have a lot of good things to say about you they didn't um and it feels as though you know you're being called to take a rest to start a new journey you have a new secure journey waiting for you it's waiting for you we're just going to get the rest of these cards so that i can zoom them in do you see the tower it's a blessing in disguise something didn't work out because it wasn't well suited for you and it's a blessing in disguise and it truly is in disguise because you don't see it as a blessing at all you're feeling very discouraged and insecure and it's like you've lost your will to go on without this thing whatever it is but the fact of the matter there was incompatibility there was there was a disconnection that you can't force you can't force a connection that isn't meant to be 
and I do apologize for telling you that. And I feel at this point, you've probably lost all confidence, all, all um, excitement and uh, strength to even, to even take any risks in a new direction. It's like you've lost all confidence in the future. And I, anyway, I'm going to get this zoomed in and we're going to keep going. The tower is the outcome. You were protected. And, and I know that you can't see that, but you were. This wasn't something that was meant to be long term. It wasn't built on a strong foundation. It wasn't. Um, the, advice, the advice position is the two of cups reversed. Let go of this unhappy connection and 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 I know at one time it was happy I can see that it was the two of cups wouldn't be here if it wasn't at one time it was love at one time it was happy but now there's there's too much uh disharmony and imbalance and inequality and unhappiness within you and the other person there's there's just too much it's it's like this opportunity is gone and you you don't want to believe it but it is okay the, the, or the other person like these can always go vice versa and this is for sun moon and rising and I'm gonna I'm gonna cut right in right now because I forgot to say it in the beginning um, I don't want to see any nasty comments down there okay if you got to comment about how much you hate another sign keep that shit to yourself okay because you'll be blocked and deleted I have no tolerance no nonsense and I don't want to hear it I don't want to hear any bullshit about another sign thank you for understanding Anyhow, um, others see you as being, you know, in your own head. They see you as wasting your time. They, others see you as um, losing future opportunities. Others see that you are lost. That's how others see you. That's how other people are, per, are seeing you. They see that you're discouraged. But the, the deal is, the, the, the situation is, is that... You're, you're, the, the basis is the page of wands, feeling helpless. You're, you, uh, you project how you feel. Right now, you're feeling helpless in this situation. This week, you're still feeling helpless. You're feeling like there could not possibly be a new opportunity for you, when absolutely there is. So I feel like right now, you need to find the, these are your advice positions. You need to find your confidence. You need to find your your courage. You need to find that force within you to to take back your power. Okay, because this is the Queen of Wands is represented by Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It is reversed. Somebody has lost their power. They've lost their will. They've lost their energy. They've lost their passion. You, and the and the Queen of Wands. And I'm going to go back to Leo here for a second. Leo is about strength. There's a loss of strength here. You need to find your strength. You need to find your strength to stop feeling like a victim here. I see a victim mentality. And I a victim mentality because a relationship didn't work out. The fact of the matter is the relationship wasn't meant to be. And you are being called to go down a new journey. To start a new journey uh, with faith. And to take a risk. And to release this obsession that you are... This obsession that wasn't meant to be. It, was, it wasn't meant to be. It, it wasn't. Okay. So I do apologize. I feel that um, your challenge, your challenge is, is taking risks. You're, you're afraid of a new beginning. You are. You're afraid of a new beginning. You're afraid to take a risk because you were, you haven't quite let go. You haven't quite released this past, whatever it is. And you're afraid of being um, rejected again. You know, you're, you're really, really afraid of being rejected again. So, there's a new opportunity here right now coming in. This is the right now position, the Ace of Pentacles. You have a new opportunity and see what just happened. The Two of Swords is like stuck in the middle, flipped over. That's what just happened here. The Two of Swords is, is you're at a crossroads. You have to make, you're going through some pain. You're going through some stress. You have to face your fears. You're being torn, okay? You're in denial. You're in, unable to see the truth. You're blocking your emotions. You're trying to avoid the truth. It's time for you to take that blindfold off. 
uncross the swords from your heart and take a risk. Take a risk. Have faith in this new beginning. Have faith in the future. Have faith, Libra. But I can see that you're very, I'm getting goosebumps now. You're very, very discouraged um, in regards to love. I think you're really scared of having any partnership at this time for fear of rejection because the last one was so profound. Okay. Um, yeah, th there was, there's a lack of happiness, there's a lack of bliss, there's a lack of coming together with anybody. You're not even accepting any opportunities at this time, or you're not being offered any opportunities because people can see your sadness. People can see your despair. This is how people see you right here. People can see. This is how you see you, and this is a, your advice, okay? So your advice is to, you know, keep those memories, keep those memories of the past, Use them as a catalyst for the future. Okay, you can. I feel like, you know, you have an opportunity to bring peace and harmony back to your life. You do. Um, go back to your innocence. Okay, that's advice. Go back to your innocence. Trust. Trust. There, there's a new, and if you look right here. Okay, I always go with diagonal. There's a new opportunity, perhaps, with somebody from your past. And when I say somebody from your past, it doesn't mean somebody that you dated before. It can, but it doesn't have to be. So I don't want you guys to get hung up on this person that you're still hung up on and think that they're coming back. I don't see that. This is a new opportunity. Okay, I think it's with somebody from your past, probably that you went to school with, or somebody that you're very familiar with. Okay, doesn't mean that you even know them in this lifetime. This isn't the person that you are hung up on, put it that way. It's not. There's no happiness and commitment with that person. You're, if you continue to be obsessed over that person, then you will continue to struggle. Okay, it's not that person. Okay, there's no action being taken with that person that you are obsessed with. There's not. And you need to... You need to let it go. You do. I feel as though you need to stop playing this game and you need to take the next step. You need to you need to find the balance that has been lost. This whole situation has has um taken a big toll on your your finances, your health, your um your inner balance it has. It's like it's totally upset your whole equilibrium, everything, everything. And it's time for you to make a decision to accept the truth. You do, you do. And stop playing this game and accept a new opportunity. Right now, there's a new security being offered to you that you probably aren't even seeing. You aren't even seeing. I feel as though you really need to, to start taking steps towards the future. You need to start taking steps. Be practical. Be practical. It's time to broaden your horizons. It's time to do the right thing for you. It's time to find your focus. Find it. It's time to take charge and step into your future and let the past go. It's time to move on. You're going through a transition. You have been for quite some time, huh? You're going through a transition that is leading you to more peace than you've seen in a long time. You have a lot of sixes here. Sixes are about harmony and peace. Peace and harmony. Sixes are also about get your life back on track. It's time to get your life back on track. It's time to regain that concentration and focus that you've been that's been lost. It's been like stolen from you by this past that's been haunting you. 
It's time for you to do the right thing for you and stop holding on to some commitment that is no more. You have to master your emotions, and you haven't been. The chariot card reverse, somebody doesn't have the strength to master their emotions, and it's time. You are being divinely protected. You have a new security right around the corner, a new opportunity for something solid and stable after you release and stop holding on to an obsession. Once you accept the truth and stop ignoring the truth and blocking the truth. What else does Libra need to know for this week? There is a new, new stable, secure opportunity waiting for them. But it feels as though, you know, they, they really need to release. They need to let go of something that no longer serves them. Truly, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Move on. Let it happen. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. I think there's an opportunity for a new beginning with the Fool card and the, and the Ace of Pentacles. There's an opportunity for a new beginning, a new journey in which you could have a partnership with someone new if you would let them in. So Libra, I feel like this is a week of not letting your insecurities hold you back. Take a risk. Take this risk. It can lead you to stability and security. and love so that's what I have Libra and for, there's a woman that I, I have a reading booked with she's a Libra I told her five business days apparently she didn't read the business so business days business days talk to you later